Hello, it's Mark Matosh here from Markham 3D, and in this video, we model this arc star from Apex. Now, I've done this video as a bit of a speed up, and I'm just going to talk you through my process here. So, I brought in the image, and I'm going to start off by centering it. I've made it about 180 millimeters wide, big, however long you want to say. So, I start off by putting in the circle and slowly building out there and just finding all those um, circle points. And here, I delete two thirds of it. And what I'll do is later, I'll come back in and I'll rotate it by 120 degrees. So I'm just trying to uh, line up all the points here. Um, at this point, I was trying to work out how deep to go. And I've decided to go about two mil deep, which to me seemed like a good size at the time. Um, from here, I'm just trying to get a good topology. And so I'm just following all the edges and you can see that I'm creating some faces there. And I'm trying to work out how deep to make it. So in the end, I believe I made it about 10 millimeters thick one side um, and I actually came back here. I think at this point it was 15 millimeters from top to bottom on one side, which means we're in a 30 millimeter thick. That was too much. So from here, I'm just trying to do the right topology here and just lining everything up, just getting that radius in um, rather than just using an extrude around the edge. And all I'm doing here is Alt right clicking on the edge and then E to extrude. And I'm just slowly moving it up. Um, I'm trying to line it up with the blade up the top there because I want that to be kind of like the edge um, because that'll make my life easier when I go to extrude it down to the actual um, sharp blade part. So here I am just lining everything up. Now originally, the reason why I put so many edges there was I was meant to actually curve it, um, but because I was doing everything so quick, I kind of forgot to curve it, which is a bit unfortunate because it would have looked a lot better. Um, so here we go. I start connecting it all, finishing up where the blade ends, just creating a few faces and just trying to tidy it up, trying to get that topology looking good. Even though it's a 3D print, we don't really need to be too concerned about it, but it's still good. Uh, from here, I applied a mirror modifier on the Z axis so we can actually see how thick it is. And this is where I'm contemplating how thick I should actually make it. So here I bring it down by five mil, seven mil. Um, and so now I'm starting to expand. I created these bits. However, they did not come out too well. So what I did is I put a circle, cut it in half and then flipped it and moved it over to the right, joined it up, and then created a big face as you can see. And I was just pressing I to do an inset. Here on this, I was just creating, um, I started off with one point and just extruded it around and made four. Here, these pieces were not um, high enough off the model. So when it came time to print, they did not come through. Um, I think, you know, they might only be sticking up 0.2 of a millimeter, 0.1 of a millimeter. And that's just not good enough with the quality that I was going for. Um, I originally stuffed this up with this print and I will discuss this in uh, three videos time or two videos time about all the mistakes and all the things I learned. And that was one thing I learned was, is I made the details too small. So for me, I'm just uh, continually tidying up, just working my way around. Um, created the one box, but actually I have to do everything manually. I used clipping here and just moved everything down and snapped together. Um, went around and did that for all. And so we've pretty much already got it now. Um, I was just tidying up a few of the meshes. And then I came in and started the laborious task of just kind of drawing out these letters. Um, once again, with these, I probably could have done it better. I should have made it a lot thicker, but you can see I'm just extruding quickly deleting i'm just putting a little bit in there um and yeah that's how i did those letters should have gone higher once again um however hopefully in future i've rectified this issue i've bought a new 0.2 millimeter nozzle for the 3d printer so that'll give me a lot finer details which is what i'm hoping for so i just skipped the other letters and so this is where we're at we've created our model exporting as the stl I'm keeping the same scale because I don't need to change scale because I made it to scale. Z up. Now this is the important thing is I split the model in half. So I deleted the, deleted the mirror modifier on the Z axis. And what I'll do is I close the face on the inside and now I've brought it into Cura. To make sure it fits in the plate, it actually didn't. So I'd scale by 95 to 95%. 
went back in and I flipped normals. That's why those red bits were there because what Cura is trying to do is put supports on the opposite side. And from here, this was another mistake I made. Um, I didn't set the resolution correctly, uh, but I'll go into more detail about that one a little bit later. Um, and here I'm discussing when it comes time to print the second side, I need to mirror the model and print it rather than just uh, printing it off. And that's the modeling phase of creating star art. 